Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. In today's video, we're gonna be doing our Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. And this box is from Dayton, Ohio. Always love getting from Dayton. Let's go ahead and open this up. We have our first look and I'm loving this purple in here. And it looks like we have some nice, fun colors. We're gonna set this to the side and dig in. If you are interested in a piece, be sure to check the description where you can find my shop links and you can also find my email. Looks like we have some nice, fun, bright colors. All right, let's see if we can get some of these things untangled quickly. Oh, this is gonna be an earring. I thought this might be a necklace. So let's start our costume earring pile with a bang with this one. How fun. So you can actually do a clip on or a post. So that's actually really nice. And I've never thought of that before. So that's really clever to be able to do that. Let's hope for a match for this one. That's definitely something I would potentially try to resell. I do like some statement pieces. This is a lovely, almost looks like a hummingbird, maybe a butterfly beautiful necklace i might set that one aside for my daughter or my niece you guys know i love to share with my little ones all right we have two bangles here i'm just going to go ahead and test them with a magnet this is giving me an amber look but this feels very much plastic to me loving the colors on this one i'll do this one for one dollar and my lot box pieces will be $1 and under, but if I don't say a price, you're welcome to email me. All right, beautiful cat's eye here. And it almost looks like an eye. Maybe it came off of something. Maybe we'll find out what it did come off of. Another earring. I like the little cabochon in the middle. There was some earthy toned piece here. All right, it looks like it's broken off in a couple places. I do like these wooden beads. That would be fun for crafting. All right, vintage style brooch look. Lovely rhinestones on there. We'll check it with the Presidium. All right, no reading on that one, but very shiny. I think I saw a Brighton B down here. Let's see if I can dig for it. All right, little Brighton bracelet. Brighton B there, that cursive B. If I don't know a mark, I would appreciate if you guys could leave a comment. I always like to learn on here with you guys and I always learning something new with you guys every single week. So I always appreciate your guys' knowledge. Lovely bracelet there. I usually sell Brighton between 20 and $40. So I'll probably put this in the 25, $30 range. Some fun, bright necklace there. Gonna go to my daughter. She actually was just wearing her yellow one yesterday. I love this, almost like a keychain. Another one I might give to my daughter. She loves purple. All right, these are those pop charms. You can pop them on little bracelets. Looks like there's gonna be a deep blue. I'll do those for $1. wood bangle here i'll do that one for two dollars costume bangle gonna go to a lot same with this one i do get a handful of these bangles a lot of them get returned to the lot all right we got three separate things here two earrings and Alex and Ani, looks like it's missing the charm that was in there. So I'm going to put that one in a lot. And Alex and Ani is always hit or miss for me. Most of the time I sell those in groups. And you're lucky if you find a sterling one, those sell better. We're going to add that one to the lot. The turquoise look is also going to go to the lot for $1. I do like the glass beads there. We got a large necklace here with some earrings caught in it. All 
It's a heart. I don't think it, maybe it opens. I don't think it does. Okay, another costume piece for $1. Long necklace. Looks like it's going to be a Leah Sophia. Another lower end brand that I still like to resell, and I usually resell these for $10 to $25. I do see some chipping on those pearls. So I'll do this one for $2. This one's going to be. Thinking that might have been Charming Charlie's, but it looks like it's got no name on there. Some dainty little moon and stars. I'll do that one for one dollar. More earrings. Add those to the pile. Okay, nice bracelet. Infinity symbol, silver tone. <clears throat> it is not magnetic. I'm going to add it to the lot. Little mushroom. How cute. Always like to resell those items as well. And animals. It's another really great thing for resell. Got some pearls here. No grit to those. Just rubbing them together to see if there's any grittiness. These are smooth. So those are going to be some costume pearls. That's a cute little charm. I'll probably give that one to my son. He's into all the little things, all the Legos, my oldest. Growing up too quick. Another costume necklace. I'm going to put that one in a lot. Same with this one. It's fairly dirty. This one's super cute and going to go to my daughter. She'll love that. Mesh bracelet. With the multi... Mixed metal look. I'll do that one for three dollars. I just sold one of these layered looks a couple weeks ago. I'll do that one for one dollar. Always helps if they're name brand, of course. Seems like a pretty good tangle on that for necklace. These are wooden beads. I'm going to add that to the lot. Earring, beautiful little crystal drop, another one I will most likely give to my son. I do sell those single earrings, so if you're interested in one of those earrings, you're welcome to inquire about it. Okay, we got a mark on here. Let's see what it says. It's like an M over a triangle. It looks like it says sterling. Yeah, it does say sterling. It's got a little bit of a marking on that. I can't quite tell. Let's test the stones. It looks like this necklace might also be sterling. But very, very dirty. Almost guaranteed that's going to say 925. Or sterling. It says sterling. Very tangled up, so I'm not going to untangle it right now. But let's test the stones. You should lay this flat. You'll get a better reading. Sometimes I can't see the stones. They're so little. It doesn't look like there's much reading on those. A lot of the sterling clear stones that I get is CZ. But nice. Definitely needs to be cleaned up a good bit. First, a little bit of sterling. As you guys know, I'm collecting all my spare sterling and gold pieces, and I hope to melt that down in the near future. Another thing on my plate to learn, right? There's never enough. Oh my goodness. I wonder if this is all shark's teeth. My son and I go shark tooth hunting every year at the beach. Oh my gosh. They are teeth. At least some of these are. These like super like soft, like worn down maybe. Oh my gosh. I really hope that these are all shark's teeth. Look how many there are. My son is going to lose his mind. Cute little shells, too. We just made a little shell house. I'm going to be posting a short on it soon. This is cool. 
All right, well, this is awesome. Really nice find. I know a little off topic with jewelry, but very cool find for my son. I really hope I'm going to take these down to my husband and see what he thinks because he's pretty good at identifying those, but that looks, those look pretty good. Okay. Back to the jewelry. Nice little bangle, very beat up. I'm going to add it to the lot. Look at that little chandelier. Giving me those boho vibes. Adding it to the lot. Maybe we found the matching necklace or earring. Oh, we did find the matching earring for that. So I'll do this one for $3. Actually, I'll make it $1. It's got a chip down here. But we do have the matching set on that one. Add that one to the pile. Okay, we got a little butterfly here. Naturally Australia design. I'll have to look that up. Looks like the writing's been scratched out. I would say lower end though. Maybe one or two dollars. Looks like we got a mark on this one down here. 925 JCR, it looks like. So let's hope for a match for that 925. Look at these cute little hearts down here. They're so dainty. Oh, I love the gold in there mixed in there together. Look at that. It's so beautiful. These are so cute. Let's see if there's any marking on it. I don't think I see any marking on those. These will be something I most likely Google image search. You guys know I'm a big fan of that Google image search. Such an easy way to get comps and do some further research. And of course, that is an unsponsored opinion. Just one of the many tools that I use to research these boxes. And of course, you all's knowledge always helps. If you're new to this channel, we do those free monthly giveaways. It's a way to show my appreciation for all of your knowledge and, of course, support for this channel. So if you have not subscribed, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications and never miss out on those fun free deals. It's a large Chico's necklace. It's got a little bit of wear to it on the clasp. Otherwise, in pretty good shape. I'll do that one for $2. I like this bracelet. Wire wrapped. Let's test those green stones. Let's hope we get further up to jade, but it looks like we're staying closer to glass and maybe quartz. Got up in quartz just a little bit. But cool bracelet. I like it. Can stretch a little bit, get a little bit smaller, so adjustable. I'll do that one for $3. And you will find your best deals here on my YouTube channel, so be sure to reach out. There's going to be a seam on here. This isn't going to be any vintage plastic, but I do like it for my daughter. Again, I actually need to go through her costume jewelry. She's got quite the hoard. We went through some of it before school started, but she's getting a little bit more creative with her outfits and what she wants to wear to school. So we are venturing into jewelry. All right, I'm going to put this on a lot for $1. I do love the color and it's a little bit transparent. So love the coloring on that one. Stretchy bracelet. I'll do that one for $1. Fun earring. Coral colored beads. There is that white. Dr. Lori actually taught me this. If you don't know Dr. Lori, look her up. One of my favorites. Look at those beads on the inside. If they have any of that white, that, that coating and the drill will show you the inside of that bead is white. So that's not going to be any coral. Another Brighton bracelet, another really dainty look. Looks like maybe we've got a little bit of discoloration on that silver tones there. Maybe it's supposed to be that gold tone. It actually looks fairly even throughout. So I'll do some research on that one, but another great find. Brighton always does sell well. Long tasseled costume necklace. I'll do that one for $3. Got 
some earrings again to add to the earring pile. A twisted necklace here. We're missing the clasp and it is magnetic. So we're going to add it to the lot. And thank you guys for joining our live chats. We've had quite a few people in the live chats lately. So thank you guys so much for joining. I love chatting with you guys on our Saturday mornings. I'm going to add this one to a lot for $1. It looks like some stainless steel, very shiny earring there, tortoise shell linked necklace. I did that one for $1. Beautiful shell necklace here. And we do have a tag, Leah Sophia again, a dyed shell. Mother of Pearl. I'll do that one for $3. If there's any tag on there, it doesn't look like it. I'll do that one for $1. That's actually some plastic type material, not any metal. Let's see what's inside the locket. We've got nothing and no tag either. So I'll do that one for $1. Feels like some magnetite. Nice and magnetic. Beautiful necklace there. I'll do that one for $3. Stretchy bracelet. Going to go to the lot. Costume earring. Went to the lot as well. Wired glass bead necklace. Do that one for $2. The letter G pin. That's a lot of pins. Normally I don't find that many in a single box. I'm maybe missing something here. I'll do that one for one dollar as well. And another plastic beaded necklace. Looks like we've got a chain mixed in there. Okay, another chain. We'll check it with a magnet. It is magnetic, so it's going to go to the lot. A tasseled earring. Lots of tasseled look today and layered looks. So I like the shiny beads on this one. I'll do this one for $3. Got a stud earring. No reading on that one. Going to add it to the earring pile. Let's look and see if there's a brand on here. Nope, just stainless steel, water resistant. I'll do that one for $1. Doesn't look like it's operating at the moment. It looks like we have some markings on this. It looks like it might say sterling. Oh, it's that NYE. Oh, I just sold one of his pieces. I'm going to put it in, in the description. It says, huh, can't make that out. It's fairly worn. It does say sterling, but it also says something down here on that pedal. Can't quite read what it says. I can't read what that says. I think it's Nye Stewart or something like that, NYE, with the clover. Uh, another great sterling piece to add to our sterling pile. I like the bangle. Do that one for $1. Two stretchy bracelets going to go to the lot. All right, we've got some interesting stuff here. Look at this. Always love when they're in these little containers. Oh, it's a cute little instrument. How cute is that? I love that. Like a little clarinet and a little clarinet case. Super cute. I don't think I saw any sterling marks on that one, but 
nothing on these earrings either. Let's look at this one first. Avon. We'll check the stones. Some of them are really dirty. Right, stand low. A little maple leaf, it looks like. That Melly Fiori. I like that, it's just a stretchy bracelet. That's always fun. All right, we saw this in the beginning of the box. It looks like a whole bunch of buttons. Yep, it sure is. Some buttons. How fun is that? I'll probably give that one to my daughter too. She'd probably really like that. I've seen this brand before. I think all of their stuff is recycled. It's like the Wave, I think. Um bracelet i can't remember it's got the four as well but i do remember that it's recycled so that's always nice and they're really good quality beads too so i'll do that one for three dollars got a hair bow I'm gonna add that to the lot costume earring necklace here another costume tasseled look i'll do that one for one dollar stretchy cross adding it to a lot Okay, Avon on there. Vintage look, definitely got some wear on that. The bangle. It's got a little bit of jewels in it, it looks like. Not magnetic. Let's test a little jewels in there. No reading on that one. Okay, another vintage look. I'll do this for one dollar. Fun adjustable flower ring. I'll do that one for one dollar. All right, this is super interesting. All right, this is two dollars. So I'm gonna do some research on this. I'm not sure. This looks. I mean, this is fairly large to be. A bracelet. So I'll have to do some further research on this one. Let's see what we come up with. Beautiful girl, you can do hard things. Plunder. I'll do that one for two dollars. I might have found the earring match to that one earlier. The one I said I was gonna give to my son. All the bangles gonna go to the lot. Little drummer boy, great for Christmas. Always love reselling those vintage brooches on my shops. I've got probably a, another handful in there. Finding some good stuff so far, some resellable items for sure. And don't be too discouraged if you're not getting a whole bunch of high-end pieces or sterling pieces. I try to remind you guys that a lot of my big sellers are no-name brands and they do great. So all right, fun guy here. Just gonna add it to the lot. Stretchy bracelet gonna go to the lot. All right, sisters care and share alike. I see a marking here, I'm not sure what it says. Camco, C-A-M-C-O. So I'll do some further research on that one. It's two stretchy bracelets. I like the clear with the red on the inside and the pink. Another one that looks fairly beat up. A lot of discoloration and it is magnetic, so we're gonna add it to the lot. Another Halloween kind of style piece that would be good for the holidays. Test it with a magnet. It is magnetic. $5, looks like a sucker. Nickel sensitive, hypoallergenic, justice. So I'll probably keep this for my daughter as well. Add those to the lot. 
more pieces for the lot. Okay, no markings on that one. Kind of reminds me of like the lava stone. Add that to the lot. I've gotten a couple rings like this before, so I'm gonna add that to my daughter's pile, my niece's pile as well. Kramer, so it's a vintage brand. It's got a little bit of discoloration on it, but not too bad. All right, looks like we have some magnetic items. My kids love these magnetic bracelets or necklaces. I'm going to add all those to the lot. They're all magnetic. Same for this one. Oh, this one's cute, though. Might keep that one. But, yeah, my kids love these. So, definitely go into my little ones. I think it's really fun for them to be able to play with those. Looks like 925 China. Cute little birthday cake charm. Normally I sell these charms around $20, $25. Some nice jewel in here, but I'm pretty sure we've got some costume piece. Yep, that's going to go to the lot. No reading on there. Fun palm tree with the sun. We've got the surgical steel, so I'm going to assume this is going to be a costume, but we will test those stones anyways. All right, no reading on those. Twisted triangles here. Not seeing any matching. All right, we found the match to that one earlier. It does have the surgical steel, so we're going to assume that is costume. I do like to re... I like to resort these boxes after I go through them because normally I'm kind of... Just sifting through, seeing if there's anything that really stands out. And then I like to go over it again. And also like to do it when you guys comment and give me some more tips and tricks. Always learning and I always appreciate you guys helping me along. And we're already to the bottom here, so we're just going to dump the rest of this out. Made in China. I'd say these do not look like turquoise to me. This is a nicer turquoise on my ring, of course. Another piece that I found of a Goodwill blue box that Dr. Loria praised for me. It's actually in one of her videos from a long time ago, but it is there. What a beauty that crystal is. But I love that she actually had to do some research on that ring for me. And she was super quick. So, again, always highly recommend Dr. Lori. It says 925 silver. Beautiful crystal right there. Sure wish we could find the match for that one. All right, staying fairly low. But beautiful. What a beautiful shiny piece. That's something I'd be tempted to turn into a pendant. Costume hairpin, another costume pearl look, beautiful heart, looks like some marcasite and some tiger's eye, looks like some costume to me as well. I was trying to take these backings off and look at them because they're also marked. If you don't see a marking on the earring, be sure to check the backing. It doesn't necessarily mean it's from the same earring like this one. And that's another thing is you might have some gold on a costume backing. So always do a good look over on those. I do have some writing on the backing on this one. So I'm going to set this to the side. It might be sterling. So I'm going to do some further testing on that. Cute little 3D snowflake, hoop earring, bangle, another fun earring, another chandelier look. I had one very similar to this the other day. 
that same metal look. Add that one to the lot. Test this one with the Presidium. Hmm, not much raised off the of glass. Cute dog bone. In RT, I think maybe that's Avon as well. I'm gonna add it to the earring pile. Gold flower. Made. Made in Germany. Definitely an aluminum feel to that. Add that one to the lot for $1. This almost feels like clay. Pretty sure we found the match to that one earlier. I'm gonna add it to the earring pile. Some more marcasite. This almost feels like an anklet. Yeah, a little bit of pull on those. Add that one to the lot. Ooh, this is beautiful. Very shiny. I don't think I see any markings on it. That is a stunner though. Right, we've got no reading on any of those, but very beautiful. Fun costume piece. Adding those to the earring lot. My kids also love the single earrings. Now that doesn't that bring you back to those vintage hair clips, little duck. And I would still do research even on those hair clips because sometimes those can be valuable. This looks like it might not even be opened. They sure are sparkly. This would be great for resale costume piece. Reading glass. Beautiful set there. So lots of resellable costume pieces in this one so far with a splash of sterling and we cannot complain. This has been a pretty decent box so far. Jesus on the cross. We're going to add that to the lot. The angel as well. We've got this little shiner here at the bottom. I don't see any other marks. A nice glass reading. Normally CZ. Fun bubble ring. I don't know what you call these, but we always call them bubble rings. And I don't see any like ridging in here either. Or seams. Beautiful little ring. And I'm looking for those for those plastic, vintage plastics. And they can be quite expensive. Got tiger's eye on that one. I think maybe I see a marking. Nope. Looks like we're not going to have any markings on that one, but beautiful tiger's eye. A plastic cabochon on that one. So we are here at the bottom of the box now. We did pretty good. I think we found some really interesting pieces. Ooh, this might be turquoise. Hold on. All right, this got a 925 mark. Let's test this stone. It's pretty cold to the touch. And turquoise would read fairly low. That looks like a nice potential piece of turquoise. When I look in the drill mark too, there's no white. It looks like it's going to be blue throughout there. A little bit that I can see in 925. Too bad we didn't find a match for that one, but that might be a really nice pendant. So we found some really nice pieces. 
some surprise pieces. I'm interested to do some research on some of these. Hopefully we find out some pretty cool and also this one, very interesting piece. And of course we ended up with a little bit of sterling. Can never complain. And then a bag of shark's teeth, which I mean, how awesome is that? I cannot wait to show my son. He's gonna be losing his mind. We found our first shark tooth this year. So super excited to show him this, but we had a great unboxing. Thank you all so much for joining. Always appreciate your guys' knowledge. Be sure to leave a comment. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time.